There's, there's several ways to look at that. We can use a stockpiled warm season forage in lieu of hay, uh, starting from the time that it frosts and we look around and uh, our typical thought is, well, it's time to start feeding hay, then stifle that thought. Uh, don't feed hay, but open the gate and start letting them graze uh, the warm season grass that you have stockpiled. You can put good nutrition in there. It works very well instead of hay. It, we call it hay on the stalk. So it's the same sort of a situation, except we ask the animal to do the harvesting rather than using a tractor and a, and a cutter and a baler. Uh, the other aspects of winter feeding involves planting some sort of a plant uh, in the field. And we can use ryegrass or clover. It works really well for the late winter, um, early spring calving cow. Works very well. Uh, if we have a fall calving cow, then we may want to incorporate a small grain because that will provide earlier forage and combine that with ryegrass or clover for late winter spring. But if we're in that middle uh, production phase, a stocker cattle phase, then uh, typically it's going to take a combination of the ryegrass and some sort of a small grain. Uh, that way we can get the most total forage. We can uh, run the, the best number of head out there on that pasture and, and really realize uh, the best as far as economic return. It's expensive to plant the small grain and ryegrass together. It's going to be upwards of $200 an acre or so, but with those stocker cattle and the gains that they can make, we can usually pay that back and still realize some pretty good income on that.